Today I'm changing the front diff fluid on my 2006 Toyota Land Cruiser. All this info can also be found in the description below. First, level the Land Cruiser so we can tell when the diff is full. I put the jack stands under the car for added safety and then start removing the skid plate and the undercover. And then I like to do a quick inspection before moving on to draining the fluid. The fill plug and drain plug on my front diff are a Torx T55. I recommend checking before getting started because they might be different on your Land Cruiser. Here I'm loosening the fill plug. You can go ahead and remove that before you start draining the fluid. Two things to note when draining the fluid. First, be careful of this crossbar when you're removing the drain plug. Number two, it's very helpful to use a beaker with a measurement gradient on it. We know that the capacity is 1.7 liters and this helps us to validate how much fluid we're removing. While the fluid is draining, take a look at the magnet on the end of the drain plug. It's normal to have a fine paste like you see on mine here, or even some small metallic shavings. Just take note of any bigger chunks of metal that you're finding there. Now we're ready to button this back up, go ahead and throw on a new washer, and we're gonna torque this to 36 foot-pounds. Moving on to the fill-up procedure, I have a few notes for you here. First, measure how much fluid you're putting in, rather than relying on overflow from the fill hole alone. Here I'm getting some overflow because I added the fluid a little bit too fast, but I wasn't sure if I had actually filled it or if it just hadn't settled quite yet. So if this happens to you, you can check it just by feeling inside of the fill hole there, and the diff fluid should be just at the line of the fill hole. In my case, I needed to add a little bit more, and so now I'm slowly adding and you can see it just starting to overflow. But I still think it's good to measure how much you're putting in and use the overflow method just to validate that. The last step, putting on a new washer. This is the same as the drain plug and also the same torque as the drain plug, 36 foot-pounds. After that, you're done. Button everything back up and you're ready to go. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>